Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. Hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're ready for some Junk Wax Era basketball cards. We'll be looking at the 10 most expensive that sold on eBay in the last week. You got a pretty awesome top 10 here for you, plus a nice set of bonus listings at the end. You definitely don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end of the video. Criteria for the list is up on the screen. We won't waste any more time and get right into the good stuff. All right, starting us off in the 10th spot from 1995 Skybox EXL. We have the Michael Jordan Natural Born Thrillers insert, graded in mint BGS 9, and sold for $910. Really like the looks of this insert. It's copy here at subgrades of 9.5 for centering and surface, and 9s for corners and edges. It's a pop of 204, and there are 102 graded higher, with the highest being one pristine BGS 10. This one here is half a point off on one of those subgrades from becoming a gem mint bgs 9.5 so pretty strong mint copy these were inserted into hobby and retail packs at a rate of 1 in 48 packs and boxes of 95 skybox exl so around 500 to 700 dollars in the number nine spot from 1995 metal we have the michael jordan slick silver insert graded gem mint psa 10 so for 953 dollars that's the second highest sale with the record being $1,150 from April of 2021. These slick silver inserts were inserted into Series 1 Hobby Packs at a rate of 1 in 7 packs. It's a pop of 226 in the Gem Mint Slab and those Series 1 boxes sell for around uh, $350 to $400. In the number eight spot from 1995 Finest, we have the Michael Jordan Refractor with no coating, graded a mint PSA 9, so for $1,032. The record for a mint 9 is $1,604 from September of 2021. The pop of 48, only 48 in a mint slab, and there's only 17 higher graded gem mint PSA 10s. Jordan is found in Series 2 boxes, and those have recently sold for around 420 to 480 bucks on eBay. In the number seven spot from 1995 tops, we have the Michael Jordan Mystery Finest Refractor, graded near Mint Mint Plus BGS 8.5, and it sold for $1,050. Subgrades were 9.5 for edges, 9 for surface, and then 8.5s for centering and corners. It's a pop of 70 in an 8.5 with 32 graded higher with the highest being 5 gem mint BGS 9.5s. Comparisons over at PSA, PSA 8 sell for over 800 bucks and PSA 9 sell for 2300 bucks. So you're picking up this 8.5 copy for a little bit more than a PSA 8. I'd say that's not a bad compromise in the middle. The mystery finest refractors are randomly inserted 1 in 36 second series hobby packs and one in 216 retail packs if you're chasing one of these make sure you're buying the hobby boxes so the hobby boxes sell for around 500 to 550 bucks and the retail boxes sell for around 350 to 400 bucks there is definitely a difference in the coloring of the boxes if you want to tell the difference just quickly looking through ebay there's a link for this in the description below down where we have the search results for all the boxes from our top 10 in previous videos if you click through that ebay affiliate link it'll take you directly to the search results and then you can kind of take a look i believe one of them has like more of a green background and one has more of a reddish background that's the difference between the retail and hobby and then if you look closely there is a little sticker that says hobby exclusive and that's how you tell the difference In the number six spot from 1992 Top Stadium Club, we have the Michael Jordan Bean Team insert graded Gem Mint BGS 9.5, so for $1,083. This card has subgrades of 9.5s for corners, edges, and surface, and a 9 for centering. It's a pop of 170, and there are none graded higher. PSA 10 sell for well over 6,000 bucks, so getting this BGS copy for $1,000 is not too bad. Series 2 is where you find the Beam Team inserts, and they're inserted 1 in 36 packs, and those boxes sell for around 320 to 380 bucks. In the number 5 spot from 1995 Hoops, we have the Michael Jordan Hot List insert graded Gem in PSA 10, so for $1,179. The record for this card is $3,197 from February of 2021. 
and the hot list inserts can be found in series two hobby boxes at a rate of one in 32 packs this card in a gem and slabs a pop of only 26 that's pretty low pop i could see this maybe going up again and those boxes of 95 hoops series two sell for around 250 to 300 bucks In the number four spot from 1995 Fleer Ultra, here's a new one. This is the Michael Jordan Fabulous 50s Gold Medallion, graded gem in PSA 10, so for $1,200. That's a record sale. I think it was probably a good buy. The previous I was $753 from July of 2021. However, I say it's uh, probably a good buy because it's a pop of only six in a gem mint slab. So the gold medallion is a parallel of the fabulous 50s insert set and they're inserted one in 120 packs so those are series one boxes that you'll be looking for so 95 ultra series one sell for around 230 to 250 bucks but one in 120 packs for the fabulous 50 gold medallions all right let's see what we have in the top three. First up from 1989 fleer jordan is Continuing his streak here in the top 10. This base car graded gem in PSA 10, so for $1,201. Let's pop a 1,061 and boxes of 89 Fleer sell for around 500 to 650 bucks. In the number two spot, Shaq has stepped in to, to ruin the Jordan list. This here is his Topps Gold Parallel Rookie Car graded gem in PSA 10, so for 1400 bucks. It's a pop of 656 and boxes of 1992 Topps Series 2 sell for around 200 to 275 dollars. And top of the list this week in the number one spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have the Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert graded in mint PSA 9, sold for $1,875. Pop at $250. There are 97 higher graded gem mint PSA 10s, and the Scoring Kings inserts are found in Series 1 at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. And those boxes of 93 Ultra Series 1 sell for around $420 to $500. All right, that's it for our top 10 Jordan cards with one Shaq sneaking in there. Time to take a look at our Junk Wax Investor Basketball Index. So the index is down again. I had a little bit of a reprieve last week. It was up, but now we're back down to 88.4. That's a low spot since we started keeping track on January 6th. Kind of tracking along the S&P 500. That's a little bit interesting. Top three, 1996 Hoops Kobe Bryant rookie cars, 610 bucks. That's a big move. It was down around the 400 buck mark here the last few weeks, so that's up 52%. 1993 Hoops Penny Hardaway, up 52.75%, 36 to $55. 1990 Hoops Sean Kemp rookie card, up to 100 bucks. There was a sale at 100 bucks. That's pretty interesting, up 53%. On the bottom side, we got 1990 Skybox Carl Malone down to 30 bucks. That's a drop of 50%. Same set, Dennis Rodman, $21.50, down 52%. And then 1990 Fleer Larry Bird dropped back down. It's, uh, had a sale of 34 bucks uh, May 2nd, down 55%. Still a lot of volatility on some of those cards. Take a look at how we're stacking up in the other three sports. Basketball is still at the bottom. We got... Hockey leading the way, football in second there, and baseball not too far behind. All right, as mentioned before, I uh, use the Market Movers app to put these indexes together and check and track my personal collections as well. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Use the code JWI when you sign up for a subscription, and your first month is only a dollar. Let's check out some bonus cards, some good ones here. First up, from 1995 Upper Deck. We have a Shaquille O'Neal card. This is Images of 95. And look at this. Look at this picture. Check out the size of that phone. It's kind of interesting. It's a picture of Shaq in the mirror of a car, but look at the size of that phone. And this one here is an Electric Court Parallel graded gem in PSA 10, so for $61. That is a record sale. Previous high was $2.40 from October of 2016. The pop of only six in a gem in slab. But just because of the picture, I kind of I need one. I want one just for the just for the photo. I'd pay sixty bucks for this. I it was never on my radar though, so I missed it. From 1994 Finest, we have a David Robinson refractor with no coating. 
upgraded gem in PSA 10, so for $314. It's a pop of only five, and this is the first sale on record. Couldn't find any other sales on PSA's website. From 1993 Upper Deck, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Skylight Subset Card Graded Gem in PSA 10, so for $133.50. A pop of only 17. The record's $157 from November of 2021. There's actually 15 of these Skylight cards in the subset. It's a subset of the 93 Upper Deck. Uh, the most popular, obviously, is the Jordan one. It sells up to $400 and more. Even more last year. I think it was in the thousands last year. But pretty cool looking subset. From 1996 Top Stadium Club, we have Allen Iverson Dikembe Matombo Class Axe. Insert, this is Iverson's rookie year card. Graded a gem in PSA 10, so for $71. I think that was a good buy. This is a pop of only four in a gem mint slab. The previous sale was $304 from March of 2021, which seems a little bit more of a reasonable spot for a pop of only four. For a rookie year Iverson insert, 71 bucks was a steal. And there's also a refractor version and an atomic refractor version of this card. So keep an eye out for these. These are found in series two boxes of 96 stadium club. So these class act inserts were one in 24 packs. So it was a pretty rare insert. The refractor version was one in 96 packs and the atomic refractor was one in 192 packs. So keep an eye out for those. From 1992 Upper Deck, we have the Mailman Carl Malone Fanimation graded a Gem Mint SGC 10, so for $45. This is a Pop 10 and a Gem Mint SGC slab. There's no higher graded gold label. For comparisons, a PSA 9 sold for $100 in February of last year. So you're getting a Gem Mint SGC for less than half of that. I think that was an amazing buy. From 1992 Tops, we have a slabbed cello pack with a Shaquille O'Neal rookie card showing on the top. Great in a mint PSA 9, so for $100. This is a Pop 8, and there's actually seven higher graded gem mint PSA 10s with Shaq showing on the top. First sale on record of a mint PSA 9, though. From 1995 Upper Deck, we have the Kevin Garnett Special Edition Rookie Card Grade in Mint PSA 9, so for $52. It's a pop of only 44, and there are 14 higher graded Gem Mint PSA 10s. The record for a PSA 9 was $100 from July of last year. So these Special Edition inserts were inserted one per pack in 1995 Upper Deck. And there's also a Gold Special Edition Parallel, which were box hits. Those are quite rare. If you can find one of those Kevin Garnett rookie cards, the gold, the gold special edition parallel, you definitely want to keep an eye out for those. A PSA 8 sold for $150 in 2020, but they're super low pop. Not very many sales records of those. From 1996 Upper Deck, we have a Michael Jordan. This is a Jordan metal card, orange, rated a near mint mint PSA 8, sold for $249. This is a Pop 1, highest graded, and it's actually the only one graded. I do have some of these specialty Upper Deck metal sets in my collection somewhere, kind of still in the original packages. Didn't think that uh, people actually graded them, but I guess why not? Never seen these orange ones before, though. I've seen some of the other ones. From 1996 Skybox Premium, we have a Kobe Bryant Rookie Year New Editions insert grade in mint. SGC 9, so for $466. This is an awesome looking insert die cut. I was looking at an Allen Iverson raw copy that I bit on and missed out on. And then I did a little bit more digging and kind of this one popped up. I like the looks of this insert. These were inserted into Series 2 boxes of 96 Skybox Premium at a rate of 1 in 36 packs, so box hits. So PSA 9 sell for just under a thousand bucks. So this Nice copy here of a mint SGC9 for $466, probably a good buy. It's a Pop 8 with only one higher mint plus SGC 9.5. Nice looking card. We're going to finish it up with a Kobe lot. This is a 25 card lot, all in raw condition, sold for $1,025, so 40 bucks per card. So you get five copies of this 96 Tops rookie card, two copies of 96 Metal, two Upper Deck Collector's Choice, one Z-Force, one Stadium Club uh, 
rookie insert, and then you get four copies of his second year tops card, and then I believe was three ninety eight nine nine tops, a few other cards there. But anyway, the uh, raw tops cards are still selling for over a hundred bucks raw if they're nice looking copies. The metal rookie cards sell for around forty fifty ish raw, so forty bucks a card. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this a good buy or a bit of a gamble? All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cars were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay partner network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. It's a pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save... 10% with the code JUNKWAX10 and in addition we have a link to the Market Movers app and you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just one dollar to give it a try. As always enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.